Hey guys, so we're getting right into it for this video. As you can see, I'm using the Clean and Clear Acne Cleanser on my face by Egyptian Milk. And this cleanser does have benzoyl peroxide, it's 2.5%. So I just leave it on my face by diluting it with some water. And I do this twice a day, morning and night, and it works really good. Make sure that you don't put any underneath your eyes as that skin under your eyes is very sensitive and this benzoyl peroxide will burn you if you are not careful. I've been using this now for a whole month in this video. This was actually my first day using it. And then the next clip is going to be after day 10. But it's been working very well for my skin and I really, really love it. So leave it on for no more than 5 minutes and I think it'll work for you great. Hey guys, so I just finished using the Clean and Clear by Egyptian Milk. And it's for acne prone. And right now, I've just gotten off my period, I think, oh shit, I got my off my period, I think the last two days already, so this is finally when my face is going to start clearing up. This, act, this clean and clear acne um, cleanser is really good for my face. I'm still getting my breakouts, don't get me wrong. They're still coming out, but they're going away within like two days. So I know that this is helping out because normally when I get my breakout, it'll last for like a week, a week and a half. And within like two days, it's it's literally going away. So like this one right here, I don't know if you can see it, the flash. But this one right here came out and I have one like around my chin area that came out. So what I was doing is I clean my face, my face regularly with... Um, the cleanser which I only use like half a pump I don't even need a whole pump because the little goes a long way but then once I clean it I leave it in for five minutes but before I do that I'll just take a little tiny bit like not even a dime size and then I'll just put them in those spotted areas and then as I wait my five minutes <clears throat> I leave it just like that so when I'm done I wash it off then I go in with the vitamin C serum by Egyptian milk which, let me tell you, I love this thing. I absolutely love it. And let me show you why. Hold on. Alright, so... So I flipped to my other cam the other side of the camera so I could show you. This vitamin C serum is so good. That's like all you need right there. That's all you need right there. I'm just a little bit more because I want to put some on my neck. So, I put it like that. Put a little extra on my chin because that's where I use it to bring it down. And bring it down to my neck and under the eyes. The vitamin C you could put under your eyes. I put it all over my eyes. The cleanser you cannot. Okay, it's still a cleanser. It still has benzoyl peroxide. And, you don't, and that skin under here is very sensitive, so you don't want to mess that up. I mean, I probably should probably go like this, right? That's what you see in videos and like stuff, like, oh, pat dry, you know, you pat it under your eyes so you don't get no more wrinkles. Whatever. I do what works for me. Do what works for you. Do what works for you, boo. So, the vitamin C serum. Let's see, apply. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Apply a small amount to the clean face and neck. Massage gently with fingertips for best results. Apply at night and morning. So, this is my morning routine. That's what I'm applying. And then I also have the face cream 1.0 with Argon. It is an ancient brightening preparation from the staples of Cleopatra. Hey, Cleo. Once I get this hair long, I'm going to be definitely giving you guys Cleo vibes, okay? This is um, fortified with multivitamins and other ingredients that brighten, hydrate, and reduce the appearance of fine lines. And that is always a plus for me. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of them around my eyes. So you apply this two times a day, a.m. and p.m., and use sunscreen during the day, okay? So avoid direct contact with eyes. Obviously, you're not going to put something in your eyes that's not meant for your eyes. Come on, people. Wake up. Let's go. So I leave this in my face for like five minutes. It's still like a little tacky right now. 
it's not tacky it's just it's still a little wet so and then um, once that dries up you could go ahead and start putting on the face cream and now that I got the bumps like under control I could put the face cream on so this is my face at 10 days like I said this is just 10 days of using this product and I already see a difference also my before picture I'm see if I'm gonna zoom in on the picture I had like little wrinkles little tiny like I had like three <clears throat> I had like three wrinkles on the bottom of my eye I'm not even lying to you this vitamin C serum is making my wrinkles go away and this is you know just age just it, it go it comes with age you know there's nothing that could be done about it I mean I guess you could hydrate moisturize find different ways but I never knew that vitamin C serum actually works not only is it helping with my dark eyes my dark under eyes because that's just genetics in my family but it's also helping with my wrinkles and I didn't notice it till about like a week of using the product and that's when I was like hey what happened there so then I ended up actually doing my own research on vitamin C and apparently a lot of people use vitamin C for under their eyes it's supposed to be good to brighten up the dark circles and then for wrinkles so I was like where have I been like I've been under a rock I didn't even know that so now I'm so happy that I did I'm so happy that they sent me this because this vitamin C is my thing like the cleansers the, the the skincare right now that I'm doing with their products I like it but right now the best thing for me is the vitamin C like that's what I'm loving I put it all over my face and moisturizes is so good it feels amazing and it smells so good it literally smells like oranges like I love the way it smells so enough rambling I'll see you guys Day 20. Bye.